We'll come back to our second semifinal here in Cincinnati. Really exciting match for you coming up between Rowan El Rabi of Egypt taking on Tina Gillis of Belgium. Game plans and when you're there he definitely makes you work hard but not and also very smart working on the movement. Um, but I wouldn't say he's a he's not a one size fits all. He definitely adjusts to each player the way he coaches me compared to uh, Tina compared to Shubini or Mohamed El Shubagi. What um, damage it's doing. Yeah, 100 percent Oh, well, what a rally. El Arabi was in control for 80% of it. Really. Oh, amazing length. Really letting your racket. I do find it's also difficult. At this venue, you have the referee who is pretty much at the same angle as we are, who's on the second level of the court. And obviously, when you're down on the court, you'd have a very different perspective of what you Gillis losing that length hitting just so slightly. Yeah, Pretty fortunate there with the air. It's a very natural reader of the game. A bit of a fortunate one there, though. Yeah, I think that most of the time you have to remind yourself you didn't do too much wrong to get yourself right. Obviously, you got yourself into a winning position, but. Six, two. Now it just seems like the wheels have come off slightly. Things have gone slightly awry. She no left. There was a line to the back. <laughs> oh, the crowd can hear a Four, bit of animation six. from them. Good from Gillis. A lot of variety using that height. Nine, was hunting down that volley. There's pulled away quite significantly. Earned herself four game balls to take this into a two love lead. Beautiful finish. But unless you hit it perfectly and you really finish that lob, you follow through with the ball, it ends up sitting in the middle of nowhere. It really sets up your opponent. You do tend to need a bit more pace to get it all the way through. Was silly. Really making sure that she's getting the width now on her cross courts. Just as I say that, she hit one that didn't hit the side wall. But she had done such a better job of straightening it out. Calls. It actually favored Ken Damon more than Rowan El Arabi. And you wonder if the focus won. She loses that rhythm and it gets a little bit more testy 
if she'll keep her focus, but there, there she clearly did. Beautiful finish. Good get from El Arabi and fantastically straightened by Gillis. Get, incredible get gives her one match ball. There it is. Let me pick one. Very, very steady and confident performance from the Belgian. Especially the second game, which was very clinical, but she held her nerve in the first and the third. Very easily could have gone down one love, but I feel that clinching that first game set the tone for the match, gave her some confidence. 